Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up code bind on your Windows operating system. I'm also going to show you how you can create your first C or C project inside the Code Blocks IDE. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So, first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Code Blocks. And the first link which will appear here will be from codeblocks.org. So I'm going to click on this link here. And straight away on the home page, you will be able to see the download link here so click on that and once this download section opens you have a few sections here first one is uh, download the binary re release and the other one is download the source code we want to click on the first option which is download the binary release option and then when you scroll down a little you will see a few different options for uh, windows operating system the option which we want to download is this one, which comes with the MinGW compiler, which will help us to compile our C or C++ programs, right? So just uh, click on the link in front of this option, which says code blocks uh, the version MinGW setup.exe file. So I'm going to click on this link, which is from SourceForge, which is going to start the download of that code blocks uh, exe file. So once this code blocks exe file is downloaded, just click on this file. And then if you see a warning which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? Click on yes here. And I'm going to just minimize the browser also. And you will see this kind of uh, start of wizard for code blocks. I'm going to click on next here. And then you will see the license agreement window. So if you agree with the license terms and condition, click on I agree. And then these are the tools which will be installed. So just leave everything as default and then click on next here. This is the default location where code blocks will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, leave it as default and then click on install. And this is going to start the process of installation of code blocks, right? So at this point, we just need to uh, wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And just before the completion of the installation, you will also see this kind of window which says, do you want to run code blocks now? I'm going to click on yes here, which is going to finish the installation. You can see installation complete. So at this point, click on next here and then click on finish. And you can see code blocks is starting on my Windows operating system. So this is the code blocks interface here. Uh, if you want, you can create a new uh, uh, project. So let's see how we can create a new C++ project and then build and run our C++ project. For this, I'm going to click on a file option here and then click on new and then click on project here. I'm going to click on the console application. So we are going to create a console application using C++ and then click on go here and then click on next and choose C++, click on next here. And then we can create a project. So just give a project title. So the project title uh, I'm going to give to my project is my first CPP app. And I want to uh, save this in my desktop. So I'm going to uh, just create a new folder, which will be called CPP, for example, right? And inside this, I want to save this project. So select this folder here and then click on next and leave everything as default here. So this is the compiler, which is the default compiler, which is GNU GCC compiler. You can also choose any other compilers if you have installed them, right? So I'm going to leave it as default here and then click on finish, which is going to create my project. Inside my project, I will have one file, which is called main.cpp, which have a very basic program, which prints hello world, right? So if you uh, are familiar with C, C++, what you need to do is you need to build your project first in order to compile your program, right? So for this, you need to click on this build icon. And once you click on this build icon, it's going to compile your C++ program and show you the compilation output. Here you can see there are no uh, errors or no warning. 
the program has been compiled successfully and once it's compiled successfully just click on this run button which is going to run your program so in this case you can see hello world is printed which is the outcome of this file right so this is how you can run your program if you want you can also click on this build and run button which is going to build and run uh, at the same time right so it will build your code and run it into your terminal so this is how you can uh, install code blocks on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video